And as per drawing, the invert of this manhole is 800 mil below finished floor. And now we're just going to fix our 600 rocker to our manhole base. Like so. Our next, next task then is to fix our rockers and our cavity, which must be 150 mil from wall to center of color. Now we need another rocker on the outside. So from the inside of the collar, where the pipe slots into, to again the inside of the 45, the 460 mil, and like so the other one. Got 485 there. Yeah, right. So we're just going to connect these two pipes now from our rockers to our bin. The second one. We'll now connect these to our pot. Okay, Christian. Like so. The idea of chamfering a pipe is solely that it makes it a lot easier to push it into the pot. Preferably it's nice to have nice clean straight cuts so it's visible on the inside so there's no gaping gaps. Just double check your measurements again on your rockers before we proceed. And then our next job is to connect up inside. So as per drawing this particular stack is 1254 mil from inside wall and 100 mil to center of stack. We'll double check the second stack, which as per drawing is 4 meters and 90 mil to center of stack. So now we can connect up our wrappers to those stacks. So we should have a broker before and after the building, that's what we've done. After we put the, the broker through the building, we put one after, and now we measure this. So okay, we've joined together our external to the pot. Now internally, we also need another 600 rocker on your pipe runs internally, like so. So as per drawing, this first stack is 1254 mil to center of stack. Our second outlet, as per drawing, is four meters and 90. So now we join up from our rockers to our rest bins, 275 mil. So we'll just go and cut that and join it together. Now a measurement from our second stack from the rocker to our rest bend, 3 meters 110. We're now just going to piece together our second stack. We're now just going to double check our stacks again for the second time. This is vitally important for toilets, washing basins and in particular internal stud walls. We'll just insert a plastic cap on the stacks to keep the runs all clean. So our next job then is to shingle the runs starting from the pot on the outside. So our manhole base must be level both ways, like so. So then as I say, we start from the outside, double checking your folds on your rockers and shingling up accordingly. <laughs> 